So unless you're living under a rock, which actually makes no sense in today's world, who the fuck lives under a rock besides maybe a vole, small bugs, you know, the ones that roll up, centipedes or something. But if you've been blissfully unaware because your life is actually fulfilling and full of life, love, mystery, and intrigue, then you probably already know. Then you probably already know. Building a PC right now sucks a lot of dick. Sucks more than Jailbait Johnny and The Return of the Booty Warrior, a new gay porn film I'm directing. Ziltex will be starring in it. So basically, it's hard to get your hands on anything. Hard to afford anything. People come to me and go, well, now's a good time to build a computer, and I'm like, no, it really isn't. The only way you can get your hands on a graphics card now is if you literally have no life, or you're like me and have insomnia, wake up in the middle of the night and find a major retailer actually selling the 1080 Ti at the MSRP on EVGA, which is still kind of marked up a little bit. They're also blaming it on memory shortages. Then you have no shot of hell of getting a good graphics card for the retail price. And it's all due to the Ethereum mining, really. The fact that mining has become so sort of like insanely huge right now, even Bitcoin was on Ellen DeGeneres' show. And I sat there and I thought, why are they talking about Bitcoin? The show's full of a bunch of fucking brain dead yuppies that cheer when Ellen comes dancing down the stage poorly. My God, what world do we live in where an unfunny lesbian comic can dance down a goddamn runway like she has epilepsy and everyone's just like, oh my God, this is a triumph. Fuck you. Oh my God, he is so angry. I do not understand the fury. I found out that I'm only 30% Native American. That means I may be entitled to some money, but I only have 30% of the right to be angry at America. Fuck. I want mini wampum. And no more fucking blankets with smallpox. This article was written on December 4th of 2017. It's called The End of Mining. Ethereum's move to proof of stake. I don't even know what the fuck that means. It makes me think about stake. But anyway, the question everyone continues to ask is, when will Ethereum mining end? And the answer to that is, it might not end for a long time. I mean, if the Ethereum Ice Age kicks in, like they say, sometime this year, maybe early next year, there's a good shot you'll see 1080 Ti's flooding the market for like $300 tops. Who the hell knows? I mean, it'd be cool for the average Joe, like myself, just looking to upgrade their computer. It'd be cool for everybody else who just wants to buy a 1060, 3 gigabyte for 199 and not 350. The card isn't worth it, but who's to say? The article states there'll be a difficulty time bond with the upcoming hard fork that could potentially be three forks of Ethereum. Ethereum POS, Ethereum PWO, and Ethereum Classic. Honestly, if there's still like options for miners to mine other stuff, why would they even bother? you know, worrying about this. I, I don't think that the Ethereum Ice Age would really stop them. The Ethereum developers have stated that they'll be releasing what they call the difficulty time bomb on the PWO chain shortly after Casper is implemented. To put it simply, the difficulty time bomb increases the mine difficulty exponentially until the chain becomes impossible to mine, an event called the Ethereum Ice Age. Implementation of this strategy should prevent the creation of a third fork as support for the original PWO fork, which just shifts to the new POS fork. The time bomb was originally planned to go off at the end of 2017, but it has been pushed back by a year and a half. Right now, there's not an exact estimate when it will be released. Like I said, could happen this year, could happen early next year. Who the hell knows? And even so, basically miners have the freedom to mine something else. So will this ice age actually affect anything? Well, it could only hope. I mean, mining is getting so far out of control, you even have nuclear scientists in Russia being arrested for using supercomputers to mine cryptocurrency. I think Tesla's computer was recently just hacked. It's like fucking madness. Everywhere you go, your computer's probably mining cryptocurrency. If you're going on your favorite porn sites, I guarantee you there's a good shot the cocksuckers are using your CPU to mine Monero while you're beating off. Guess it's a fair trade. The porn's free. Some people even got their hopes up when NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1063 gigabyte version was rendered less than optimal for Ethereum mining. People started getting happy. You know, this is the sign. It's the sign. The end times are coming. We'll be fine. Now we can get cheap graphics cards again at their MSRP. But it turned out that this issue was actually due to Windows 10 having an update that increased the OS footprint on the VRAM. So basically, 
you know, everybody who got excited was kind of like, what? Oh, no. And miners are like, fuck this. It's as simple as using an older version of Windows or using Linux, switching OSs. Bing, bang, boom. Eat a dick, you faggot. You're just plain out of luck. So honestly, there's no room in sight. Any advice from me as far as building a computer? This is it, children. Uh, buy all the components piece by piece because let's face it, RAM is expensive as shit right now. So if you can find a sale on DDR4, like, you know, G Skills, uh, you know, that cool pulsating RAM with the plasma lighting or some bullshit RGB. Uh, I saw that on sale for 199 like two, three weeks ago. Really should have jumped on it. You know, buy your stuff in pieces and then hold some extra money and wait for the next generation of NVIDIA cards to hit and then buy immediately, you know, immediately. You know, don't play with your dick. The second you see that it's in stock, don't sit there and... I wonder if I could cover it. Just whip out your credit card, buy it at the normal price, and you'll thank yourself later in six months when that graphics card is like three times its price on eBay and everywhere else. That's my suggestion. Uh, I kind of feel like some of the major onboard partners are also to blame. Like EVGA, I'll give them this. At least EVGA gives you the ability to buy your fucking card directly from them. MSI, I can't seem to buy a card directly from them. ASUS, I can't seem to buy a card directly from them. You know, what the fuck is this? You know, how come they, they see the issue? How come they just don't go, okay, we need to do something where, you know, major retailers like Amazon and Newegg and blah, blah, blah will have a tougher time getting the cards just for scalpers to get them and resell them. I mean, come the fuck on. Why not try that for the goddamn people? It's the least you could do, you greedy oligarch. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I was about to end the video. I was having a drink right there. Uh, also... Supposedly, Bitmain's rumored Ethereum ASIC miner could kill GPU mining. This was published by TweetTown like six days ago. By the way, I think some of the guys who run TweetTown are also miners, so maybe they know something. On the other hand, it does piss off a lot of people with TweetTown. Just a little heads up. Basically, the latest news coming from China is that the mining giant Bitmain is working on an Ethereum ASIC miner. The purported ant miner... F3, Bitman's rumored F3 Ethereum miner, would pack three motherboards with six ASIC or ASIC per motherboards, as well as 32 times one gigabyte DDR3 RAM that would make for a very powerful and efficient, but incredibly powerful Ethereum ASIC miner. This would put GPU mining for Ethereum out of business almost overnight. Uh, Bitmain is reportedly meeting with a few manufacturers in Taiwan, so you can be sure that they're talking to, I don't even know what that company is, TSMC and others in order to see how many chips they can get their hands on. I'm guessing this could pull what? T200 to 250 mega hashes, I believe it is, MHs, whatever the hell you call it, uh, for $2,500 to $3,000. I don't know how good that is, but it must be something. And it does sound a lot cheaper than buying a fuck ton of 1080 Ti's, like 12 of them. But the question is, you know, if this does happen and it goes really well, how hard is it going to be to get your hands on a decent motherboard in the future, right? Yeah, well, who the hell knows? It's all speculation. And I figured I'd talk about that. Two possible things that could happen that might alter the GPU shortage and overpriced market. Whether it all comes to flourishing is up in the air right now as far as I can tell and I'm just barely dipping my toes into learning about this. So please, if you know more, don't come in and fucking yelling at me. Eh, you didn't get this right, you dumb bastard. Oh, fuck you. How about I come to your house and ask you to help me work on a reverse crankshaft engine when I decide to get my hands on a V4 Ducati. And then you said to go, I don't know anything about this. And then I'll come at your house and yell at you for not knowing shit about motorcycles. What are you, a homo? Only playing with your minor? Playing with your dick in the corner, you bastard? He's full of anger and rage. It is because no one loves him. He's a cancerous, cantankerous motherfucker. Subscribe. And on that note, I should get the hell out of here. Don't forget to smash that like button because the more of you that support me on social media and so on and so forth, the louder my voice gets in the industry and the more respect and reputation I get in carte blanche. I mean, right now, I already feel like I've got more of a presence than most of these major computer tech sites. They can't even get a damn like on any of their tweets. I can at least get five likes. Average. And still, I can't get a gaming chair to review. Can you believe that shit? That's some shit right there. Bigger than Tweet Town, baby. Oh, fuck off.